Okay, room 14. I want to talk again about multiplication. I'm going to talk quickly because I've already said some of this, but I just want to re-emphasize. When you're doing math, there's symbols. There's plus. That's when you bring things together. That's the subtraction symbol when you take things away. Multiplying works like addition. It's just a faster way of adding. You're just adding groups of numbers over and over. It's a faster way to add. And then there's also this one that's called division. We haven't talked about that one yet. So when I look at these symbols, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade was all about addition and subtraction, right? And now you're getting closer and closer to being a third grader. So let's talk about this one. When I multiply, it's the same thing as adding over and over. Today I want to talk about times 10. This might be the easiest one, and I'll show you why. What this means is I'm going to take those 10 sticks, and I, I pulled up a picture on my computer to show you. Look right here. Remember these? The ones I had in my room are green. Okay, we're just taking those 10 sticks, and we're just counting them. So if I say 6 times 10, what does this mean? When I look at this, what does this actually mean? What it actually means is we're adding 10 six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it means. But look how long this is. Too much trouble. This is faster. 10 six times. You can read it like that. 10 six times. I can put the 10 first. Okay? You can switch it around. But when you see this, when you see a 10 in a times problem, you're just going to count by 10 this many times. So let's count by 10 six times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 5 times 10. Or I can switch it. 10 times 5. I'm going to count by 10 5 times. Look, I could use this. Let me get rid of 1 because I'm only counting 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm sorry, I was counting by 5s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Easy enough? Now, I'm going to show you a little something. I like to say that the first number in a multiplication problem is the groups, is how many little groups you're making. And then this is what's in each group. So we could literally read this like this, 10 groups of, think of this as the word of, Five. So watch this. What this actually says is 10 fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to come down here. Seven. I'm going to plus this one. I'm just continuing. Eight, nine, ten. But watch. It gives us the same answer. Since these are all fives, I'm going to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I got the same answer. You can do that. For this one up here, 10 groups of six. Watch. If Mrs. Betts' theory is right, it should be 60. But watch. That's a lot of sixes to write, but I'm going to do it to show you. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put a plus here because I'm continuing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm gonna use my doubles. This is 12, six and six is 12. These two sixes would be 12. These two would be 12. These two would be 12. What's the fast way to do this? I'm gonna count on my tens. Here's 10, here's 10, here's 10, 10, 10. Do you see it the way I see it? What is 12? 12 is 10 and two. All of these are 10 and two. 10 and two. So I'm gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now I've still got all these twos in my ones place. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What's 50 and 10, boys and girls? 60. So it does work either way. It's just faster to count by tens, no matter if the 10 is first or second, either way. Whenever you have times 10, whether the 10 is first or second, just count by 10 this many times, whatever number is here. So if you have a paper, nine times 10, hold up nine fingers, count by 10. The 10 could be first, 10 times seven. Hold up seven fingers, count by 10. Five times 10, hold up five fingers, count by 10. And you'll notice, here's a secret but I wanted you to see how it works. It's always gonna be this number plus a zero. That's a really the fast way to do it. It's this number plus a zero. But you go ahead and count by tens at first and it trains your brain to see what we're doing. Times 10 is just counting by tens this many times. All right, this is Wednesday's homework, and I will attach a multiplication page with times 10 on it.